My name is Jaha Dukure and um, I am the UN Women Goodwill Ambassador for Africa. I came to New York City on Christmas Day when I was 15 years old to marry a man that I have never met. I think getting married at a young age is the most difficult thing any girl can ever go through. But personally, I believe that when you force a girl to marry, you've given a man a right to rape her every single day. At the age of 15 was when I realized that I went through FGM and what it meant. There are four types of FGM. Because I went through type three, which is the total removal of the clitoris, the labia, as well as the vagina stitched together so that there's only a small hole to urinate and um, mensurate, which meant that my marriage couldn't be consummated until I was de -infibulated. That's when I knew that I had gone through FGM and it meant that I couldn't have sex until I was cut back open. So I think I started anonymously speaking out around the time that I was pregnant with my daughter. I knew that I don't want my daughter to ever go through that. I also knew that there are millions of girls out there that are just like my daughter and no one was speaking for them. And if it wasn't me, then who else? And that's the reason why I started speaking out, shouting and using my voice. There was so many opposition within my community. I know that everyone in my family had it difficult. My father had it the worst because people told him that it was his fault that I was out there. It's because I wasn't trained properly. It's because he allowed me to have an education. When I was appointed UN Women Goodwill Ambassador, it was a huge turning point, not only in my family, but in our whole community. I remember they made news about it and um, the excitement that everyone felt. And I can see how proud my father was. I can see how proud my brothers were. And I was no longer that black sheep of the family that everyone tried to keep away from and distance themselves from. I was now the celebrated hero in my community, a celebrated hero in my country. Women like me and girls like me don't make it this far. So to me, it's a representation of those girls whose voices have not been heard. To me, it's a representation of the 200 million women who have been silenced through FGM and the millions of girls who continue to um, suffer with the consequences of child marriage. The current movement against FGM has turned into a global movement from the US to the UK to Africa. I personally believe that we are at a tipping point when it comes to ending FGM. But what we have started seeing more and more is survivors and women from impacted communities are taking the lead when it comes to fighting FGM. And I think that has changed the conversation because we have created a platform where Women are leading that change. I think we have a chance. And 2030 can't come any sooner.